Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. We're out here, a uh, pretty good ways offshore, and we're doing some high speed trolling. See if we can catch some Wahoo. Uh, first Wahoo trip, kind of season. Late November, Black Friday, and we are Wahoo fishing, not shopping. So hopefully we'll have us uh, a good day, catch some good fish, maybe some bottom fish, Wahoo, stuff like that. What you got, Dad? Yeah, stay tuned. This is going to be an exciting trip. I can tell. There's two of us on the boat. We've come up with a plan, so when we do get a big fish on, it usually is a three-man operation, but it can be done in two. We're going to show you how to do it. So stay tuned. What are you going to call it, Bonita? Uh, definitely a good possibility, but hopefully not. You have to be lying. Yeah. Come on, jump. We want to see a, a, a mine. Oh, right. it is a mine, isn't it? guys that's why we run a lure like that like that rattle jet high speed trolling because you end up with something nice like a dolphin caught a dolphin going 15 miles an hour sometimes you catch good fish regular stock cna lure rattle jet didn't do anything special but it resulted in us catching a fish that we wouldn't have had otherwise Yeah. Alright guys, uh, Wahoo fishing has been slow, but we think we found some good bottom structure. Looks like my dad's hooked up. About 190 feet of water. I'll be here in a few minutes. Yeah. Take some time. But hopefully we can get some trigger fish. Trigger fish seem, seem to do better in the deep water. At least the bigger ones, right? across a good patch. It can be tough sometimes to hit that cloud from uh, 180 feet. You got one? Uh, a little pink. Remain? Yeah. Fish, whatever it is. What's that? It's a strong fish. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not yet. 
It's actually working good. It's not too strong of a drift. So we're able to just kind of drift it. <clears throat> and I'm not, um, I'm not showing a lot on the bottom. It's not like a huge marking. Yeah, I'm getting a few hits. They're marking really good, about 20, zero to 20 off the bottom. Um, I got something. Uh, B-liner. Uh, red snapper? Yeah, a mutton. Nice. I mean, a mangrove. If we didn't get nothing else, we've got to make sure it's got a variety, didn't we? Yeah. Hey guys, so we were bottom fishing, catching a variety of fish, and over there, I don't know if you can see it, there are some like, black fins busting like crazy and they're just going crazy over some baits so we're going to run out the rattle trap or the rattle jet sorry <laughs> not bass fishing rattle jet and uh, see if we can't catch some tuna it was getting late in the day and we still had a 60 plus mile ride back in but i mean they were hitting pretty hard so we're like hey let's let's pull up our bottom lines and troll by and see what happens so we put out our black and purple rattle jet put it way back on the 30 30 wide um, only line out there and we started trolling when we got up to the ledge you know where they were busting we noticed there was a rip for me you could tell there were two bodies of water you know kind of merging and uh, not much of a weed line but you could just see these bodies of water coming together a little ripple you know fish were busting we even saw birds I haven't seen many birds out there you know busting over the tuna but I was like man everything just looks perfect for a great tuna bite I'd never seen anything like that out there before. Uh, we've caught tuna, but you know you don't just see them busted most of the time. Heard stories of the tuna being real hot early in this uh, Wahoo season on the ledge. That's uh, working out just like they said. So, Is there people? oh yeah, yeah. I think I think you got them. Actually, there are birds all up around us. Um, back up to the oh yeah, especially this big Athena. Almost. Uh -uh. There we go. Black fan. All right, guys. I'm excited. See him up ahead, busting the water. Birds over top, caught one so we know they're hungry. We started trolling and boom, quickly we had a blackfin on. We started catching blackfin and they were nice blackfin. A lot bigger than the ones we catch in the Keys. Hard fighters, I'm telling you, it was fun. We'd troll, you know, we'd catch one, put our line back out and boom, every pass we would catch a tuna. We'd catch one at a time because we only really had one line out. You know, later we put another one out but it was just, it was that good, you know. We mainly carry that one for tuna as kind of a bycatch or mahi. You know, we were out there for wahoo, but the tuna bite was just insane. We kept making passes. We put that line way out. Boom, catch, catch a fish. Okay, guys. Close. 
close. There you go. Oh, nice. Know. All right, fish on, guys. How's he gonna call it a troll for him? Pretty good one. Want me gaff him or flip him? There we go. Nice. Another. Yeah. An old jet special one. Yeah. Do you want him? What's that? You ready for him? Uh, yeah, if you are. Is he ready or? <laughs> Oh yeah. Almost there. Yep. yep. <laughs> the biggest yet. I think it's your biggest. Get that bad boy out. Wow. Yeah. Swallowed pretty good. Good job. Wow, you got him. You got him. That is a bucket full of tuna. It was a really cool sight to see. Um, we were catching tuna, and I'm like, man, it's getting late. You know, we're not going to be in until dark, and we've got uh, two hours to go, so let's pack it up. We started heading away. We just left it out just because, and bam, caught another tuna. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Slap out now. Yeah. All right, guys. We had a crazy day of fishing today. It was awesome. Oh uh, yeah. It was going slow, and then the tuna came in. Right. We were trolling for wahoo, caught a mahi, and then we did some bottom fishing. Had some triggers and a whole, whole bunch of variety. And then all of a sudden, we seen the tuna busting. Yeah, it's like let's troll by it. So we started trolling and man, it was just one after the other. Nice tuna. Yeah, yeah, I mean some of them 12, 15 pounders. Big, yeah. Big boys. So it was an awesome day. I hope They're still biting too, by the way, but we gotta yeah. we gotta go with late. We got a 67 mile run in and uh, it's gonna be dark soon, so we need we need to get <laughs> we left them biting literally. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Bye.